Hello everyone, this is Myra coming back to you. I want to talk to you today, um, April the 7th of 2014. It's my sister's birthday. I've already wished her a happy birthday. I am, uh, what else did I do today? Oh, I went to school. First I went and took care of my money situation, which is not resolved, but it is, but I don't have my money. But it's resolved, but it, I just don't got the money yet, but it's, yeah. So that was one thing I did. Then I went to school, took her there, find out um, the paper I wrote was not good enough paper. But before I even went to class, I found out that the library, um, the different places that I went to, the internet was down, the network wasn't working. So that means all the printers stopped working because you need, the printers are on the network. So of course you try to print, they're not gonna print, right? Okay, so I had that issue today. Then I finished school. Then I went to talk to um, uh, someone that, that, that helps, I think it's accessibility or whatever. It's for people that have different disabilities and I'm part of that group so that I can, you know, get some help with like reading, excuse me, writing and different things. Well, I've been trying to get an audio version of my book. Now, the problem is the reason why I can't get audio version or have someone to read it out loud to me is because the book is online at a map at a lab plus thing and you need a code as a student in order to get a copy to give to this teacher whoever this guy was I guess he's an accessibility to make it easier for me to read the chapters well he couldn't get a copy of it because I need a code I have to pay for the lab plus well um, uh, he found a way to get it for me but technically it's not it's not right but technically he he's not supposed to but it's not my fault because um, the teacher gave us this copy and everybody else doesn't need, everybody else got a free copy. I should have one too. So, um, he put the book in, um, an audio version on this thing here. You're, I mean, you're not going to believe this thing. Check this out. It looks like a CD player. Hmm. Has some kind of software, firmware or something like that. Um, he used the software to convert books into audio by people reading it. And there are some buttons on here. There's buttons so you can um, type in numbers and stuff. Here you can change change by pages, which is awesome, and play, and there's power. I mean, you can change the volume, you can change the speed of the person's speech. This is off the chain, but this one has my book, my history book on it which I thought was pretty awesome. I got this, I had to check it out, and there's a cost if I lose or break anything that comes with it. But I thought that you guys would like to know about this technology. This is called Victor. Um, I can't remember the company he said um, that makes um, the software, but um, it was a software company that makes the firmware. He, called, he said it was firmware on here that makes it to where um, the, whatever software he's using on his computer to make it, oh, make it, um, it's on, there's firmware in here to sync with it, and what it does, it takes the information in the files or the tracks or MP3s or whatever for each book and encrypts it. So if you played the CD on the computer, it wouldn't be in the right order or something like that. It'd be all mixed up, which who cares about the order if the MP3 is going to play and I can just arrange it myself. I don't even care about that. But he said... Um, this keeps it the way it's supposed to be. So, with that in mind, I'm going to use that device. But I thought you guys would want to know about this technology. This is insane. But who's ever heard of um, some technology? Oh, uh oh. Who's ever heard of some technology that looks like it's on um, uh, back in the days? You would think you'd be able to get an MP3 or MP4 or something like that that can play on any single device. If, especially if it's someone actually reading the book um, on an audio, reading it out loud, and I don't know, that's really weird. So anyway, I just thought I'd let you guys know about that. Um, today's vlogging was about school and my um, new technology I get to use for school. Um, also, this brought to you by my favorite chips. I'm not going to show you the name because I am not plugging. It is by a company that you guys go to. Oops, I think you guys saw it. You guys go to quite often. Mm -hmm. Everybody goes to this place because it's right on the corner. It's where everybody goes, of course. 
So this one is the best. It's kettle style chips. It's barbecue flavor. What I love about it is that it says no, no trans fat, no cholesterol. It's off the chain, and I can have it as much as I want. I can. Um, if you guys have any questions or have any thoughts about my videos and what I'm putting in my vlogging videos, I gotta put the word vlogging so that way um, YouTube would know that it's about vlogging. Um, I did look into eBay. I, I went and saw this lady. She made a comment about one of my first eBay videos, how I sold something on eBay and it was like a few dollars or what have you. And she was trying to figure out how she's doing things wrong. She's like selling some mugs um, or something like that, coffee cups or something like that. And she's selling them on eBay at a you know regular price and then she went then there's bids on that from that price and higher and, and she got to pay fees and then she got to pay the shipping of course she charges for shipping but she pays the shipping on her end or she said free shipping or something like that whatever it was she's paying for shipping um and after all of that she has a profit of three dollars but and that that's including the mug that's like a dollar so i'm like you're not there is some things you're missing i mean eBay offers um, uh, shipping, um, they offer, not shipping, they offer um, listings at a really cheap price. They have the listings at um, no cost or low cost or, or whatever. They give me emails and it's like once a month or something like that, once every few months. And I think it was all of last month and, and they got something else going on this month and I was able to to list multiple items several times and blah, 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 and then um, get those out at no cost. So then if I ship it to you and you don't like it and you wanna, you know, whatever, that's your thing, you have to pay to ship it back and ship it to me, and most people don't wanna do that. They just keep the item and resell it or whatever. But um, usually I ship good products and I make sure my products are quality and there's nothing broken and that, you know, it's all packaged correctly so that if you get it and you don't like it, it's just you just don't prefer it um, you know that's I mean I you know I'll give some kind of credit or something or have you return it within a few days but I usually have the customers pay for shipping because I can't afford to pay for nobody shipping but um, I just thought I would respond to her comment in case she looked at this video because it says eBay and she be, she's been looking on stuff that says eBay um, but yes, that's what my whole vlogging video is about. Um, if you um, like this video or you have any comments or any thoughts about it, go ahead and leave the comments below. Um, if you like it, go ahead and subscribe. Um, again, this is Myra. Today is April 7th, 2014. Hopefully I started doing more vlogs because I'm starting to get more comfortable and understand what I'm saying and um, understand a little bit about um, YouTube vlogging. But you know, I'm gonna I'm learn more and I'm gonna get more stuff. Um, I just want to make sure that people are aware of all the wonderful things you, um, you can do. So thanks again for stopping by and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.